It's uh, Thursday, August uh, what is it, 25th. Uh, I'm going to put a video out today. I've been on vacation for a week, and then it's been two more weeks of very slow sales. I haven't sold anything since Monday, and this sold yesterday. It's a helmet. I actually found it uh, on the boulevard across the street from me, along with uh, another visor that fit another helmet that I've been uh, getting ready to put up for sale. And now I've got it up for sale with that uh, other free visor. So this is a nice free helmet. Um, I was trying to find a maker on this. It's a vintage helmet. It's in pretty good shape. Uh, I couldn't see any makers anywhere on it until I finally noticed. I don't know if you can see. All right, that's not it. It's, uh, it's, it's very difficult to uh, see, but it's printed on the uh, leather strap there it's right there it's very hard to see but uh it's a grant i believe uh what is it a rg9 it's a medium size so this didn't take very long to sell and it went for fifty dollars this is a rural type of mailbox I often find these at garage sales for just a couple dollars. And we'll pick them up because they eventually do sell. And uh, this one is uh, uh, galvanized steel, as they most mostly are. It's a little bit older one. It has a metal flag and metal handle. Some of these now come with uh, rubberized handles and flags so they don't uh, scratch up the uh, car if you get too close to it. But uh, this one uh, has been up for probably a year. Finally sold for $26 on a best offer. Well, it's Sunday night and I'm getting uh, ready to go away for a few days. And just as I was sitting down to uh, put in my time away, this sold. So I got to get it packed and in the mail tomorrow. This is a Sound Shaper EQ. It's a 12 band, 12 bands per side. I picked this up at an auction and uh, these generally will uh, um, be in good working order. Sometimes the sliders will need uh, some uh, attention as far as uh, deoxid spray. But uh, this one worked. I did have to replace the uh, light that's behind this ADC, which is the brand name. I printed off a manual, gathered together a couple of uh, patch cables, and it took just a couple weeks to sell, and it sold for $190. A couple more uh, pinup magazines, Risque Photo Magazines, Flirt, and Parade Beauty. And these are from uh, 1954. Uh, they're in kind of rough shape. The cover is coming off one of them, but uh, interesting none the least. And this I recently put up uh, within the last week or so, and it's and the pair of them sold for thirty-five dollars. This is a Juliet clock radio. It does have both AM and FM. It's got the luminescent die, uh, hands, but I shined a black light on them, and they glowed for just a a few moments before that wore out, which is typical. This is made by Tops. Uh, or top, I should say. And it's uh, uh, one of those lesser brands, but I've seen quite a few items from top. And uh, they label a lot of their electronics as uh, uh, Juliet. It even has a antenna wire coming out of it. It require just a regular uh, uh, cleanup of the uh, control so that there's no scratchy noises, but I didn't have to replace the uh, filter capacitor, so it seems to be working just fine. And uh, this didn't take very long to sell, and it sold for $60. It was just one of those uh, real cheap garage sale finds because they didn't think it worked. Um, all you had to do was really uh, work the volume control, and you could tell that it was going to work just fine. So this was nice to sell pretty quickly at 60 bucks. This is a very, very small vintage pencil sharpener, part of the collection. It's sort of a gem. I don't know if you can read it there, but it does say uh, made in 
occupied Japan. Very simple, but uh, in excellent condition. And I was actually able to sell this. Well, I got it on, I, I sold it on a best offer to a gentleman collector in Taiwan. And I think I had it listed for 130 and he offered 120. And uh, I got the offer like at 11.30 at night. I didn't see it till the morning. And exactly 24 hours later, he paid for it. $120 for this tiny little pencil sharpener. This is a Polaroid Job Pro instant camera. And uh, I picked this up at a uh, garage sale just a few weeks ago. And uh, I don't have any film left. I used to have some film to test these out with, but uh, these generally don't ever have any problems. And uh, this sold for $45. This is the last of three of these Panasonic boomboxes, RX F35s. I acquired three of them at an auction several years ago and they all needed servicing uh, to get them completely working and I kind of put it off because they didn't seem to be that valuable at the time. And then I revisited them uh, earlier this year and I've, this is the third one to sell uh, for parts and restoration. The uh, value has gone up on these, They're very much sought after. And uh, this one sold for $125. The radio works, but the cassette player does not. Well, it's been a while since I've made a sale, a few days anyway, but it was uh, worth the wait, something substantial sold. This is an Olympus OM4 vintage SLR 35 millimeter camera. Came with the uh, original uh, paperwork instructions even the uh, uh, receipt from West Photo in Minneapolis is the strap. Uh, it's got film in it. I didn't test it. It's got this uh, nice lens on it. Pretty good shape all around. And I've had it up for sale for uh, several years and it sold for $250. Another uh, vintage pencil sharpener sold. This is a classic schoolroom type. It's a giant number two very good condition very shiny chrome on it and uh, this one sold to uh, someone in taiwan and it went for uh, 35 dollars